Hey everyone, so George Floyd was murdered by four pigs in Minneapolis and um, apparently the guy was called the cops on because of a forged check, which that wasn't the case. It wasn't forged at all and they put their knee into his neck while he's handcuffed. He couldn't breathe and they strangled him to death. So this is what I don't get about this goddamn country. Like, how is it that you have protesters storming the Capitol building and these people from Michigan, and they're all white, and they all have assault rifles, like our AR-15s and whatnot, and they're screaming in cops' faces. And I've seen that picture. And there are some of them just standing there. I saw one picture of a guy who went to a subway with a goddamn bazooka on his back. How is that not threatening? But then when black people um, protest because a cop murdered that guy, they treat them like wild animals and they're tear gassing them in the street. Native Americans get treated like crap too. In the Dakotas, you had them protesting the pipeline. Cops again were shooting tear gas at them. On their goddamn land. I don't get this country. It's like they think they're entitled because they have these white ancestors from Europe and they think they can just treat everyone horribly. Enough is enough. That man didn't have to die and these assailants should be held accountable at the full extent of the law and these people who killed uh, George Floyd should be in prison. I'm so outraged with this country. And, and this just doesn't stop. I mean, you had one, I forgot the other guy's name. His name was like Chris or something. But same thing in New York. He was selling counterfeit cigarettes. And he was strangled to death. And he was a big guy too. He was like me. He was like six foot five. He looked like he was six, seven, weighing over 300 pounds. And one cop was strangling, which in New York, they banned strangling people to subdue someone. They banned it. But somehow the cop thinks he's entitled because he's, a, he's the fear of my life tactic. And they strangled him to death and he said he couldn't breathe and he died. This is ridiculous. Stop killing people, you stupid pigs. And then people go... Oh, well, you, you hate cops because you must be a criminal. No, I hate cops because they are the criminals, you dumb motherfuckers. You stupid bootlickers. One of my really good friends in Riverside was killed by two cops. And he was actually part white and part Filipino. And his brother is an attorney. They sued and they won like over a million dollars or a quarter of a million for the entire family. So they all divided it up. But those cops went to his back and fired six shots in his back. They fucking executed him because he stole something at a Home Depot in Riverside and crashed his car into a tree. And that same Home Depot in Riverside, just last year, someone stole from there. And a cop that wasn't showing his badge, didn't have a uniform, was blatantly shooting in that parking lot where once my friend lived and ran away from there. And I guarantee if he wasn't on drugs, he wouldn't have done that. That's what pisses me off. It's like they do not care about human life at all.
This is why cops should not be allowed to own fucking guns. This is why people should not have the right to have fucking guns. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. You're a pussy if you use a gun. You are. You're a little bitch with a gun. You cannot use your fists and say, well, I'm a big tough man. No, you're not because you're a pussy with a gun. That's what you are. You're a little bitch who only cares about your Second Amendment rights. I guarantee you all those little bitches at the fucking Capitol building would never be caught dead going on the front lines of active duty in the fucking military. I guarantee you throw those crazy motherfuckers in the middle of Afghanistan during warfare, those motherfuckers would be shitting in their pants. And don't tell me that ain't true because it is. They're all a bunch of spineless little bitches who think they're self-entitled because they're fucking white, thinking, hey, I'm white, I can do whatever the fuck I want. And they're going to Capitol buildings holding AR-15s. Meanwhile, you have black people getting killed on the street just for being black. What kind of a fucking country is this? What the fuck kind of a country is this? And that's why I hope when we get more... Like, this is the thing. If, this is what I hope Democrats accomplish. We have hired, Democrats have hired numerous people from the spectrums of life from all different races and religions and whatnot. So I say the band of brothers all get together and, and hold people like this accountable and get these fuckers in jail. And the same cop who killed George Floyd is also a Trump supporter. Go fucking figure. The most dangerous motherfuckers in the world are Trump supporters. They're the most dangerous, psychotic motherfuckers in the world. That same guy who killed and fucking murdered George Floyd is also a Trump supporter. And there's a picture of him standing right next to Trump de Dumpty. While he was supporting cops. And then he's saying that he's done so much for black people. You basically just told... You basically are okay with a white cop who went to your rally and he just murdered a black man on the street. I'm fucking sick of this bullshit. I'm so fucking done. I'm so annoyed by this. Whatever happened to upholding the law and the Constitution? But they look at every goddamn fucking black person like they're a fucking criminal. Not every black person is a fucking criminal. Just like not every fucking Muslim is a terrorist. Not every Christian, you know, a, you know hates abortion. I mean, yeah, you're, you're, you're probably going to go, well, how is that true? Because I know a Christian who had an abortion, okay? I'm just saying, there's a small minority group, but they're out there. I just, I'm so annoyed by this. And I'm so tired of these bootlickers that go around and applauding and they're always like, you know, all these things about cops. It's like, you know what? Cops are the biggest fucking traitors in this goddamn country. They are just as evil as the president himself. It's ridiculous. And by the way, if you really need to support Trump and you are a Christian, congratulations. You basically... Hey, everyone. Um... Just got finished talking to my dad. Uh, he called me. But anyway, um, yeah, I just, I'm really tired of this country and the white privilege in this country. It, this has got to stop. This is getting ridiculous. 
And by the way, quit telling me that there are good cops in the world. Show me good cops that are putting the bad ones in jail. Because the last time I saw a good cop doing that, she got arrested for it. Yeah, that's right. A woman stopped a DUI cop on the road and there was repercussions for that. So yes, even when there are good cops out there that are trying to stop injustice, no good deed goes unpunished. And that's the problem. If they're going to be the whistleblowers, they shouldn't be the ones that get in trouble for this. They should be idolized for this. They should get a medal for this. I just, I, I'm so sick of this, in this country, I'm so sick of this bullshit. I, I'm so tired of it. 